hey guys welcome back to the react native course in this video we are going to going to see that how to make post api request in react native so basically what we're gonna do we are going to create one button and whenever user click on that button we are going to make api call okay so let's see how we can do it so this is the my uh, browser uh, this is the my vs code and you can see this uh, emulator is running we have created a one component like root app component which we have now let's see how we can uh, make api call post request in react in react native okay so first of all i'm going to create a json server quickly so let's create a json server so i see i created one folder called server and i'm going to open this in vs code now after creating this uh, opening that folder i'm going to create a file called db.json file okay to create a json server now after that let me create a one uh, object inside this we're gonna have a post endpoint post endpoint and this is gonna looks like this and to run this json server we have to type json server dash that watch and the file name and you can see that our json server is running on 3000 and this is the endpoint for the post and we can perform all the crud okay now uh, let's open this copy this quickly endpoint now after that let me open my uh, this uh, vs code for react native and i'm going to create a one button right now button component and let's define a title uh, create post okay and we're gonna have on press and whenever user click on uh, button so i'm going to call handle create post okay now let's create a function const handle create post okay now uh, you can see that this the button is created create post and we're gonna have a one activity indicator as well because whenever we make api call it's gonna be time consuming so we have to show some kind of activity indicator so let me import the activity indicator from react native and the size will be uh, large as well so you can see that the activity indicator is visible here and i will only show the activity indicator if const is loading is true is loading is loading and set set is loading okay and use the state will be initially false so loading will be false and if it's loading is true then only i'm going to render the uh render the this activity indicator okay and otherwise i'm going to null so null okay so you can see that okay now if i click on a button okay let's add uh, some text also quickly learn post request in react native okay now you can see this okay now let's do this here post request so i'm going to have a one try catch so whenever the uh, error come it will went to the error block okay now after that we have to do like this const const uh, response i'm going to use async of it you can use dot and dot catch as well await and we have to use fit pitch fetch method and the first and okay so whenever you have to use await you have to make the function as a async okay so i make the function as async and let's make the code more readable okay now we have make a function called async function and the first endpoint is like you know api url so let me do api url the api url is 3000 local 3000 slash post but there's one catch that our api doesn't understand the local host so we have to use uh, our ip address so let me copy the ip address of mine so we have to open the terminal and write a command called ip config copy this ip address quickly so i just copy this ip address and i have to place at the place of this ip address okay the first parameter will be api url so i just place this now let's uh, open the second or uh, second parameter that is going to be a one object and how do you know that uh, this object we have to write object and so on for that if you just uh, open the you know google and type 
search method so you can see that there is one mdn article which you come up and you can see that this is the code for making get request okay now after that this is the code for making the post request so we have to define the method whatever method we want to do and we have to pass content headers and inside the headers we have to pass content type application json and inside the body we can pass the data okay so let's do quickly so the first uh, parameter for the first value is gonna be a method so we're gonna do method as a post and let's format it now the second parameter is called headers and inside the headers we're gonna have a content type okay and application slash json and let's check yeah it's correct application json now after that uh, we have to pass a body okay and inside the body we have to pass our data so let me copy the const let me give one object const post data and the title will be this is my first post and the user will be zero or degree coder okay so this is the object which i want to post so you know whenever we have to post using the fetch method we have to stringify that as well oh my gosh json dot stringify and we have to pass that data like this and once you get the response you have to uh, const data we have to again convert into json format to see the response okay now let's console the data what we are getting the data right now okay and if you're getting some errors so let's console the error as well and now if uh, if you are making api call so i'm going to make set is loading as a true and so we can see a loader and if uh, if the data is come up so i'm going to make set is loading as a false and again if there is error come up so i'm going to make it's false and again reloading the app and if i click on create post so you can see that type error network request failed okay so we are getting some data so i think i'm doing some mistake on headers so let me copy this content type application json text and just replace with this one okay and let's give it one more shot so type error request network request failed oh my gosh so i think the api endpoint was causing some error so basically i was given some space to you know after this so that's what's causing error and you can see that this is the data created zero degree code and if i check my json server you can see this is created now let's create one more data so this is my second post and it will be the user will be alishan and if i click on create post so you can see this we are getting the data okay and yeah we can have a alert as well if you want to alert dot alert and inside this what we have to pass uh, the title a message you can pass and but let's leave it out don't waste more time on this so let's understand how to make a post request in react native okay so first we have to uh, replace the first we have to use fetch method and it will define the first will parameter will be endpoint whatever endpoint we are hitting that api and uh, after that we have to define the method and we have to inside the headers we have to pass the what content type we are doing and after that we have to pass the data inside the body and we have to stringify that data and you are getting this data uh, let's suppose you forget the syntax so how do you just get to the access to the syntax to get the syntax you have to just type fetch md method and you will open to the this mdn website mozilla and you can see that this is the request or this is a code for making a get all requests get request and this is the code for making post request okay so yeah i think that's all in this video so if i you know if i do multiple times uh api call again hitting hitting so you can see that this is all the data is posting on our server so yeah that's all in this video guys in the next video we are gonna a uh, post api with input field and form data so basically in the next video we are going to uh 
we are going to create a, a form and we're gonna make a api call so see you guys in the next video thank you bye please let me know if you guys have any question bye